up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Toby. My name is Heidi. And we are live again. Okay. So, yeah, we have a lot to talk about, um, especially with Metaverse coins. There's some really exciting ones that we got our CT Club members in a long time ago before anybody was talking about the Metaverse, especially Facebook. Um, <laughs> Meta Hero. Yeah, that did really well. I think it's up f- almost 50% today. And congratulations to our CT Club. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, oh, by the way, Jack Dorsey stepped down, so we're going to talk about that we as well. We are going to talk about that. Yeah. And then what was the guy's name? Parag? Something. He's new. I haven't I Yeah, haven't I think his name is Parag. Yeah, yeah. So, um, he, <laughs> All... I, I hear he's an ETH lover, so. Oh, really? That's what I hear. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, for those of you who are going to follow along with the articles that we're talking about today, the links for those are down below in the video description. And hello to everyone who is saying hi in the live stream. What's up, Chi? Big <clears throat> like. Big Archer, up. what's up, buddy? Thank you for doing. Yeah. He Archer's a big help. We've uh, actually hired him on to our. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about it. We're, 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 we're yeah. talking about uh, it. Archer's a great moderator for our Discord channel, and he's also been contributing some research for our videos. So look out for uh, a chain link video and also one on Engine as well coming up. So thank you, Archer, for your help contributing to this channel. Yep. Um, Brad, good yeah. to see you. Simple brain. Nick, Nick was asking, do we have big waves yet? Uh, we will next week. It's going to be giant. I think it's going to be warning, massive. Warning, warning. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see. I might Hopefully. Be, might be gone for a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. So, let's see. Um, so, what, yeah. what do you like okay. to talk about? Okay. So, let's talk about the metaverse. Let's kick it off, right? Okay. So, yeah. Meta Hero is, has been, like, skyrocketing. And I think the reason why it's been so popular there's two there's two reasons okay so number one they're doing a lot okay they're coming out with everdome uh which should be out in i think the uh the ico should be out in january and so if you have i'm trying to just remember the, this off the top of my head if you have like ten thousand meta hero or h-e-r-o is a ticker symbol then you can get like 50% off uh, one plot of land or something like that. And then, you know, it moves on to 50,000 and you get a certain amount of land as well on, uh, on Meta Hero. So, mm. or I'm um, sorry, um, Everdome. So like Meta Hero is the platform that they, they've used, right? For, for VR and augmented reality. And uh, Everdome is pretty much the place where you can download 3d images or take 3d images like high definition 3d augmented reality um photos of your yourself your your dogs your belts your shoes your cars whatever you want to put into the metaverse and this is how they get it and so i can kind of see where it'd be really popular and the reason why i think it's going to be huge is because as you know the world is going into another bunch of lockdowns which we called way back when and you know that's going to cause a lot of people to want to escape reality and i i've been telling you guys this that this is where the future is heading especially with governments just being like just full on with these lockdowns i think it's it's just going to bring more and more people to the metaverse and more and more people are just going to escape reality so yeah i mean and also you know as detached from real reality as it is people want to take control over what they can and uh, when you can have real ownership of a blockchain um, and cryptocurrencies, yeah, compared to what can be rapidly taken away from you in real life, uh, it's a really sad state of affairs. But um, you know, maybe you can use it to com- uh, connect with people. And I don't know, I'm not that excited about the metaverse, to be honest. I mean, I, I, really, <laughs> I can't fake it. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm I, my job is to tell people where I think the world is headed, and yeah. then people can go ahead and invest, yeah. uh, you know, however they w- would like. So I'm not going to miss out on this opportunity. That's why I was buying URLs, a uh, metaverse before Facebook had come out with meta. And uh, yeah, just 
been full on on this. And, you know, I think that people are going to start selling their NFTs inside the metaverse as well. So, yeah. So you you also have Decentraland, which actually somebody purchased a $2.4 million plot of land on, on Decentraland on uh, Mana, if you want to check out that coin. Mm-hmm. And that's huge, you know, like $2.4 million for a plot of land. And, and I mean... That one's been doing really well lately, too. Exactly. It's been skyrocketing. So I, I expect way more of this. $2.4 million is nothing compared to how much money is going to be thrown into the metaverse. I mean, the gaming industry is gigantic and it's only yeah. going to grow exponentially now now that people are going to be forced in their homes so yeah yeah um so okay let's talk about what else is happening for example with twitter let, let me just actually okay, go over it just uh, kidding what really quickly <laughs> ovr is another one that i've been yeah. talking about for a while now and so what how how you can get paid in OVR, which I'm incredibly bullish on as well, is you can go to, say, for instance, uh, the pyramids or Las Vegas or whatever. You can scan the buildings or whatever, and you can submit it. And and then uh, OVR creates like a 3D scan of it. Um, and then they pay you with OVR. And then with the OVR, you can actually go onto their platform and buy plots of land. So it's mm. really interesting, these different types of of uh metaverse tokens and and projects because uh they're all they're, they're all different but they you you never know which one is going to be the one that's going to survive or the one that's going to really take off mm-hmm. it, it reminds me of like the dot-com bubble where everybody and their mother was creating dot-com businesses and you know only a few lived so it's going to be interesting to like see which ones actually live nobody knows which one's going to live i don't care if it's the most popular YouTube in the world or whatever, yeah. they don't know which one's going to live, okay? So I'm trying to spread my wings as much as I can, grab as much as I can, and hopefully one of these are gonna make it. And if they do, holy cow, have fun retiring. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ella was actually saying, I used OVR in my neighborhood yesterday. Okay, see? And, and yeah. people are buying at plots of land. Like where we live, people have bought plots of land on OVR when I when I was checking it out yeah. several months ago and I was, I was like, geez, people are already on this. So it, it's pretty nuts. Whether we like it or not. Yeah. That's here it. it comes. Exactly. <laughs> um, so can I move on? Or yeah. Well, no, really, not yet. Okay. La- <laughs> lastly, let me talk about this. Okay. So hyperinflation in Turkey right now. Yes. Okay, this, this is, is really, really nuts. important. This is why you, I don't see how people could possibly be bearish on Bitcoin or this entire space. You know, uh, Bitcoin is, a safe haven. And if you don't believe me, oh, let's talk about Turkey right now. Turkey's president, Erdogan, gosh, how did I screw that one? Erdogan? Er, Erdogan, yeah, says that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, he says that he will never advocate for a rate hike. Really? So rate hike is pretty much, it's what banks use, central banks use to, to strengthen their their currency. currency you know, and they to tighten the economy. And so he says, interest rates are the reason inflation is the result. Uh, my argument hasn't changed. I still defend it. I believe in it. Yeah, right. Okay. So when Heidi and I went to um, Istanbul, Turkey, what was it three years ago? 2017, four years ago. Yeah. Okay. So four years ago, the, the Turkish lira was at 290 or something 295 or something like mm. that now it's at two or 1275 to the dollar so yeah they're hyper inflate that's hyper inflation right there and it's and then you know the the more it inflates the faster it goes as like you saw what what happened in zimbabwe and mm. in the weimar republic you know that this is what happens so it happens slowly, and then all of a sudden, that's uh, that's a famous quote from somebody else. But mm. yeah, that's how uh, inflation works, and you're going to see a lot of different countries doing this as well, uh, especially the more the U.S. prints. I think even Germany just quoted inflation at six percent. The rest of the EU is around five percent or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of inflation out there, and people are going to be forced into Bitcoin, especially when they hear about it and going like, "Wow, like." There's a way we can protect our money from these crazy people, you know, printing a bunch of currency. Yeah, I mean, even especially considering the fact that we're always saying it's a good time to buy Bitcoin if you have a long-term perspective, if you have a long-term plan for your investment. But 
especially if you're met with this reality of the current currency that you're forced to use is inflating like crazy. And your leader is saying, I have no plans to change that. Yes, I know our currency, maybe he didn't say this, our currency sucks because of my actions. Um, even if you had bought Bitcoin at the, at the height of the last bull run, 2017, 2018, you still would have done so much better for your wealth, uh, hedging against that inflation by using Bitcoin. And it's a very uh, important um, but new narrative for Bitcoin is being a hedge against inflation. This is not something that, you know, the basic mechanics of how Bitcoin works and its monetary policy is eventual deflationary. Uh, there's still new Bitcoin coming out, but each every four years, it's that amount is halved. Um, and so in that, it is built in to be a inflation hedge, but no one really cared about that until now when really it's getting really out of hand across the country. I mean, across the world. Exactly. So, yeah. So that's why you need to protect yourself with Bitcoin. Yeah. And that's why we're not sure when the bear market's going to come. We're not sure how low Bitcoin's going to go. It seems to be a different game of who's who's investing and why but yeah. markets still do move in cycles i still Four think we're going to have a bear market but yes we will anyway. have a bear market um <clears throat> okay kumar said in india government is trying to regulate the crypto current regulate cryptocurrency india's um, banned crypto unbanned crypto banned crypto like three times it's like china so yeah what are your views on it i mean so anytime a government goes ahead and tries to ban something all right so there's always going to be the opposite. So, you know, um, for every uh, action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Um, and this is the same with cryptocurrency. So, for instance, <clears throat> people will build around governments. Governments are pretty easy to actually build around. People may not realize that, but, you know, governments are kind of like Goliath in, in the story of David Goliath, you know. So David, this small guy with a little little slingshot, was able to annihilate, you know, Goliath pretty easily because he's not like Goliath with was not flexible. He's not mm. agile. Yeah. Whereas we are, we we are we don't have to go through a bunch of red tape to go ahead and work around government. Whereas government has to go through a bunch of red tape to go ahead and do that, unless they hire their central bankers or whatever. But they also need the brains as well, which they do not have. They actually don't have the brains that we do. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it's futile. Uh, I think they're going to try their best and they're going to fail. They, they're actually going to fail miserably. And, and like Andreas Antonopoulos once said, like five years ago, he said governments are about 10 years behind uh, Bitcoin. And now that the space is moving so fast right now, governments are probably 15 to 20 times, 20 years <laughs> uh, away from yeah. figuring out anything in, in, in this space. So, yeah, it's it, it's. Don't even worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, if you are if, worried about it, then take that hint and yeah, learn how to participate in this space freely. Decentralized exchanges, wallets you can you control. Um, yeah, VPNs are great tools as well. <laughs> Somebody asked, "Is Ada dead?" Absolutely not. No. Like, just give it some time. You know, yeah. a lot of these these coins need time to build. All right, and uh, with Charles, who knows, like what his deal is or whatever, but I'm more focused on what is going to be built on, yeah. on this, you know? Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the Cardano thing. It's, uh, they had the Alfonso, uh, upgrade, you know, much, uh, everyone was waiting for that to happen. Finally did spark contracts are finally on Cardano, yeah. but it's still in the test net phase. Um, and Cardano being designed as it is with the programming language that it has, it has to go through, I'm assuming any smart contract that's going to be released on Cardano is going to have to go through really rigorous testing um, to create the perfect smart contract. I'm pretty skeptical of that happening. Um, but there's a lot of projects that are ready and waiting to be released on Cardano. You know, a handful of them are decentralized exchanges. There's lending platforms. Um, there's on uh, AMMs and uh 
yeah, launch pads and all that stuff, like, pretty typical of what you can find on other platforms, but... They better hurry, in, in my opinion, as well. Oh, they're well. not going to hurry. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> it but took I, four years for them to get I, I, smart contracts I know, out. but so, so here's the weak... it's not even out yet. Here's the weak part of the chain here is that they, if they don't hurry and get their crap together and ready... Yeah, they're going to be irrelevant. Fun. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, but... For for a little bit, but because I know they do have a huge network effect, all right. They they it's what you call a cult coin almost. Um, yeah. So if you say anything bad about it, oh boy, expect some reign of terror. Well, on that's you. that's a double edged sword uh, that can turn off a lot of people from using it as well because they don't even want to deal with the social aspect of it. But yeah, you know this the trade off is it's going to take a long time for a code to be released, but in the meantime. Projects like Solana, like AVAX, like Polkadot are out there getting it tested the other way, the open source way of, you know, having it any kind of an, an incentive from the public, whether it be white hat hackers, bounty programs, black hat hackers, uh, code is being tested constantly. And Cardano is kind of doing it in their own little Petri dish. And a lot of these other projects are doing it publicly and their money can be lost, but you can definitely mitigate against that with different um, uh, insurance platforms and stuff that's available. But who knows? <laughs> One day we're going to talk about what's actually happening on Cardano. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so in the meantime, you have Solana, you have uh, Avalanche, you have yeah. a bunch, Polka a bunch. Dot. Well, yeah, you have you have several, Ethereum. and and so yes, Ethereum. And, you know, people give Ethereum a hard, hard time. Like, hey, maybe we should sell our Ethereum. Like, I'm definitely not going to touch my Ethereum. Like, no. you're crazy. Look at the total value locked at a, on Ethereum compared to all the other coins out there. I mean, the second largest coin is, or even the third largest is what's, is it Solana? And, you know, it's Ethereum has 18 times more locked coins than, or locked tokens value than, than Solana. Like, mm -hmm. like, okay. So it's got a long way to go and ain't yeah. overtaken Ethereum. Um, okay. So Meta Beers says, Toby, uh, will you hold metaverse coins in a bear? Um, I might hold a little, I'm not going to hold very much because I know what a bear market looks like. I've been through two of them already. And so like, I, I can't wait for people to start saying, Oh, it's going to go up forever. This time's different. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah. Okay, so real estate is what, a 15-year market, 15-year cycle or whatever? And yeah. then this crypto is typically a four-year cycle. So. Also, I just want to address this. For those of you who are new to crypto and you're hearing all these YouTubers or people on Twitter or just anyone on social media or maybe in person, these moon boys, you know, it's going to go up forever. And so because of that, you're afraid to take profits. Well, here's the thing. Let's follow that logic. If a coin is going to go up forever, you can still take profits. And then if you wanted to, you can reinvest again. And then if it's going to go up forever, you can keep getting profits because it's going to keep going up forever. But mm -hmm. uh, that's not a realistic or logical uh, situation when you're talking with human psychology, money, and cycles that we are uh, prone to. So yeah. there's going to be a bear. For sure. Uh, Sergio asks, uh, what do you think about uh, Olympus, Olympus Dow. Dow, and now the Avalanche Fork, the Wonderland. Um, WND, I think, um, definitely is a good one, guys. Yeah, WND, I think it's, it's totally very, I you. think it's very undervalued, and um, yeah, I might have to do a trade alert today. So, that could oh, be a good, good one. one, Sergio. Good eye. Yeah, yeah nice one. Um, okay. <laughs> Do you want to talk about Jack Dorsey now? Yeah, okay. Let's talk about Jack Dorsey. So I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> okay, well, like, okay. He's he's stepping down from Twitter. Um, is not a whole lot of reasoning behind it. Who knows? I mean, who knows how, how Bitcoin... He's... Um, nice it'll be. What do you, how do you say that? How Bitcoin... Uh, how, friendly? Crypto how, friendly? Yeah, sorry. How Bitcoin friendly is going to be. The new um, guy. But so so he Jack has said in the past that if Bitcoin ever needed him to, he would step down from Twitter and from Square, who he's also a CEO, and work on Twitter or and work on Bitcoin. Um, but I don't think Bitcoin needs him. Um, it'll continue no, to no, no. work without him. So who knows why he's really stepping down. I'll be really interested to see 
how this is going to change Twitter in the future. Are they going to continue with the implementation of that tipping thing that they were uh, all excited about? Now you're saying this guy is an Ethereum fan. Could be. Is he? Are you just saying that? I'm, I know. I, I've read some things. I, I actually don't have the article, so okay. I, I need to look more into it. But yeah, okay. I've read some things that <clears throat> he is an Ethereum fan or he might like Ethereum. So yeah, we'll see. Um, nobody knows for sure. You know, mm-hmm. let, let it all come out. And um, but in the meantime, you know, I think Jack is he's a fan of Bitcoin for sure. Um, yeah, he's a fan of decentralization a little bit, obviously, because he was a CEO of Twitter. Um, so who knows what is going to happen down the road? Mm-hmm. Who knows if, you know, crypto people are actually going to be able to get verified as well? Because I know there's been a lot of scammers on Heidi's account. So who knows yeah. if he makes that a little bit easier? I'm- but if not, you know what? I actually don't even care anymore. I, I, I ser- seriously don't even care. I know what a bull market is. We, I've, I, I, seen Heidi go through this before and you know there's so many scammers during a bull and then after yeah. that they all disappear it goes quiet. and the people that are getting ripped off like do your research guys like we're never going to ask for yeah. money we're not going to never going to contact you, you and and ask for money that's that's just the ridiculous. number one red flag are is someone contacting <clears throat> you cool it's a scammer um yeah. i don't care how good of a promising investment how easy it is how much how little <laughs> money you need to invest to make hundred percent gains daily it's a scam um and please don't give them your time or energy or money uh, <clears throat> okay so what do you guys think uh, uh megan mcintyre says uh, what do you guys think about lengthening cycles and diminishing returns yeah um that's what willie Wu has said too um basically the cycles last longer and they're less volatile over time okay i, I agree i think we're kind of seeing that mm, i don't know because okay think about this <laughs> Bitcoin retraced, what, 55%? So a typical retracement for Bitcoin... Oh, okay, let me, let me re- re- reiterate. Yeah. Okay, so Bitcoin retraced 50-something percent during a bull market. What do you think is going to happen when, you know, sellers get exhausted? They're going to sell, and there's going to be a huge cascade in prices, Okay. But that's not going to happen right now. I don't think it's going to happen right now. We are in a full bull run right now. Um, but when it does come, which it will, every four years, give or take whatever, a couple months or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, you're going to have a huge bear market. And Bitcoin's probably going to drop about 80 to 85%. It could mm. even drop to 90, not down 90%. Who knows? But say, for instance, it's it goes up to you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars. So if it goes down 85%, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? So, um, and the altcoins are going to get decimated. That happens every single time. Don't let these like newbie uh, Take your YouTube profits. Don't hold heavy channels back. say that, oh, it's going to do really good during yeah. a bear, mar- or bear market. No, it's not. Like nothing is really going to do well you other than tether. You can always buy back cheaper during tether a bear market. USDC or, or DAI or, or UST or whatever. So yeah. yeah, at least we have options now. Like the last bull market, we did not, or bear market, we did not have that many options. We had Tether. And the one before that, we had nothing. So that's kind of nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> With all the fiat printing, who in their right mind will sell their crypto these days? Yeah, definitely not me. Anyone no who knows what's happening isn't. Um, at least not everything. We should make this clear that we are not going to be selling much of our Bitcoin. Oh, no. Like, I'm just saying, I'm going to write it all the way down. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. So Because yeah. It's, a, it's a long-term commitment for Bitcoin with us. <laughs> this one. We Ch- love Bitcoin in the good times and the bad times. Yeah. So <laughs> Ch- Chainlink was a bear market coin, to be honest. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. It's going to Yeah, be there's a, a few. Chainlink, Cardano yeah. was one. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but what a steal. Like, too. Cardano was like... Four cents, yeah. four cents the other like a couple years ago. Like yeah. you could have just picked it up. Like, uh, don't buy a coffee, buy a bit of Cardano, and now you're doing really well. So yeah, I mean, this is the beauty of of bear markets. I love bear markets. I actually like bear markets more than I like bull markets so because do I. because number one, it's more relaxing. Yeah. Number two, there's you can more get being research done. Exactly. There's more being built. There's not so many shills. 
You yeah. know what I mean? And only the cool people are still around during a bear market. Exactly. It, <laughs> that is actually true. The, of course, it's the true. coolest That's why I said people it. in this space are, are are during a bear Those market. Those are the true friends. And you can pick up the cheapest coins ever. And I'm gonna be researching like crazy yeah. with my. Great group that's of gonna be and actually that's like the challenge right is how to be profitable during a bear market easy easy and i think there's definitely yeah. many more ways now than there be were fun. before uh but that's going to be something that we're going to be always looking into and i think finding some gems oh yeah yeah it's 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 great yeah so that's and that's why we don't have to sell our bitcoin because we can make uh plenty of pl profits buying altcoins and taking advantage of their volatility and stacking stats with it Hmm. This is an interesting one. Can you give okay. any recommendations on Web 3.0 coins? Well, Polkadot. Think... Yeah, okay. That's Web 3.0. That's yeah. the, that's what their foundation is basically built from. Yeah, definitely. So Polkadot's um, going to kill it. And then somebody said something about Polka, Polka maybe Swap. Maybe Polka Swap? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's going to do really well. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so I mean, you're having a lot of coins, but also, you know, if you're just getting into these coins now... You know, keep in mind that this is pretty late in the cycle. This is the fifth leg. So if, you know, you're, you're trying to like overdo yourself, like leverage yourself or whatever, just relax. You know, like you have pretty soon you'll have a bear market, which will be great. It's going to go down and down and down and down. It's going to be down more than you could ever imagine. <laughs> and then you're going to buy. They're gonna, if you have cash, don't spend all your cash right now. Save it, you know, and um, that's what I'm doing. So. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying these live streams, please hit the like button. It helps us get this video out to more people and we can bring more people to crypto tips. Yeah, we'll get you with the clickbait titles, but you're going to learn something along the way. Yeah, this uh, oh. Capucin Capucin. OK, yeah. he says Infinity. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's uh, engines like that's what engine put a hundred million dollars into or uh, in, into the metaverse, and that's one of the coins that are going to be coming out. So when definitely. Do you, when do you think the bear market is coming? The bear market? I have no idea. Um, I'm looking forward to the blow off top. And yeah, then of course. let's let's get, get going to the bear market again. That's when the real money is going to be made. So, so the, the money, the, actually, the money isn't made really in the bull markets. No, I mean, it's you get preparations lucky. during a bear market. Yeah. So a lot of people, they're not going to... A lot of these scam YouTubers, like these pumping people, like they, they, oh, don't, they don't care. They, they don't. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get into this coin. Look at this metaverse. And this is going to go to the, to the moon. And yes, yeah, some of them will. But the real, real money is made in the bear markets. So, yeah, yeah, you could get into, say, Avalanche right now and you could do a 3X or 4X or whatever. That's cool. But it's probably not going to be life changing unless you have millions and millions in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So use these these bear markets and look at the coins that like especially like what Heidi and I post on our CT club like I'm always researching these little tiny little tiny coins and I'm I'm kind of I don't really like giving out these coins sometimes because the market caps are like 5 million 10 million yeah. sometimes and I'm like well people please don't buy that much of this coin because you're going to skyrocket the price you know and so it's just it's hard for me to to do that, but I know that, you know, this is what you're paying for. So that's what I do anyways. But it's still, it's like, I hope people don't overdo themselves and get yeah. too much in this coin because I yeah. don't want to pump this coin and then it drops back down. They're like, oh, crap, that sucked. So you have to have a realistic expectations for crypto too. realizing I know a lot of people who are commenting, oh, I'm new now. I know I'm super late. So you have that. You know that at least that's great. Um, but you need to couple that with the fact that. You still need to be strategic and you can't go crazy to try to get profits, life changing profits at the end of a bull run. You're going to have to be patient and give yourself some time. It will happen. It took us, it took me five years to change my life with my investments in crypto. It didn't happen overnight. The first one was like crazy. But then after that, having prepared yeah. how we did in the past bear market has paid off tremendously this time around. And that's something that you can only learn from experience. But just trying to get you guys to get some perspective. Alan Vishal, how, um, how's Elrond? Yes, we, we have Elrond in our portfolio. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to do fine. How, um, how long is the bear market generally? Like a year? I think in a the couple, past it's been a couple year. years. 
Yeah, there's like there's it's like the bear boom, market, boom, boom, right? Boom, boom, the bear market is like constantly moving lower, lower, lower. And then you have like an accumulation phase where it's range bound. That could be even a year as well. Look at what happened in 2019, basically. Um, and then you start ticking off again slowly into the bull market again. So, yeah. Uh, Kristen said, uh, with math, mass adoption, do you think the bear market will be the same as the previous two where the price drops by 90 to 95%. Yes. And here's why. <laughs> absolutely. Freaking lutely because I love your confidence. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, come on, look at the, look at what happened in a bull market. Bitcoin dropped over 55% in a bull market. What yeah. do you think it's going to do in a bear market? Yeah. Like we are going to crash hardcore. Not right now. Let's enjoy the time. Let's enjoy the fireworks. But when it crashes, I'm out. <laughs> Like I'm out from most of the alts, a little bit of Bitcoin just to be able to save some money for the bear market. And that's where you're going to have generational wealth being built. And, you know, I'm going to do some I'm thinking of doing some videos on this because, you know, this is how to really make generational wealth. And we are the people we we've we were the people to to teach people that because, yeah. you know, we didn't start with very much. And we built to what we have now. And so, you know, this is really important. We have really good lessons to learn. And, you know, the different coins that we are, are in, you know, it's, it's really important to stay the course and not be swayed too much. Um, anyways, I can keep going on that, but I'll, I'll stop. But yeah, definitely we're going to a bear market and it's definitely going to drop. 80 to 85 percent. And, and if the, you already took your profits, are, you're going to be the alts are going down 90, 95 percent <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be so fun to watch. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Um, but yeah, let's let's have the blow off top first. Yeah. Um, yeah. So someone was saying they see a lot more promise or potential with Polkadot and Kusama than with Cardano. Maybe they're, I think they're getting a lot more real world experience with their code and with their platforms than Cardano is getting currently. So they definitely have a little bit of a head start, um, but we'll see. You never know. Gavin Wood, baby. I mean, we're hedged in all directions, <laughs> okay. so we got exposure to them too. <laughs> Gavin Wood and Polkadot. I, anything that guy touches, gold. It turns to <laughs> gold. I was say something, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah, anyway. so it does turn to gold. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, do you think it could be right time to get into AVAX ecosystems? Absolutely. Avalanche was, is one of them that we had told our CT Club members, and it's done really well since we bought. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's, the, um, that's the launch pad for, for Avalanche. So, yeah, like Avalanche is going to do really well, I think. Um, yeah. And I kind of like it, too, because the founders are kind of uh, um, mysterious. Ooh, yeah, good yeah, anonymous little, development team. A little bit. I could I go either way. Team, uh, for, uh, I forgot what the, I forgot what they are called, but it, it's kind of cool. Cool name. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Maybe one or two more questions. Sure. I, I, who determines the price of cryptocurrencies? Um, who determines? Well, the price of currency, trip, cryptocurrencies. You're seeing a lot of whales that are. Oh. Technically, you determine the price of a cryptocurrency when you decide to buy it. Sure, but you're I mean, setting the price. But I mean, if if you want to look at the spikes up and down, thousand, two thousand dollars. Yeah, manipulation spikes, is boom, from boom. the whales. That's, yeah. that's whales right there. Yeah. They're they're just tripping uh, stops and and um and leverage positions that shouldn't be in there. So the more of a clean slate you'll have, the better off it is. Especially when it kind of flatlines, then you have like the exhaustion of the sellers and the buyers. And that's when you want to really like think about buying. That's what that's what I do, you know, especially in a bull market because it usually goes. Choo. Ken's Pat is asking in all caps, when will bear market happen? We don't know. Who knows? No one knows. Anyone who's telling you they know exactly when it's going to happen, they're lying um, because they would otherwise be a absolute trillionaire and they wouldn't be bothering making YouTube <laughs> videos For sure. or anything about it. Um, They'd be owning their own island. So last last question. What coins are you going to hold during a bull, uh, bear, bear and, and bull. bull? Bitcoin, well, Ethereum, probably some stable coins. Yeah. That's it. And maybe For, a staking coin. Are we going to be staking many coins during a bear market? Uh, I'll be staking. My, I'll be loaning out the uh, yeah. stable coins for yeah. sure with BlockFi and These are different the... other other platforms. But also, you know, Ethereum. 
uh, Lido is a great place to stake your your, yeah. your Ethereum, especially if you don't mind waiting for. You got it. You, before you decide to stake Ethereum, you got to understand the lockup period and the time that that takes. I did a, a video on I did several videos on staking Ethereum. So check out that playlist on like how to stake Ethereum or what you should know staking Ethereum. I forget what I titled it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so lots of helpful information there. Yep, for sure. Thank you everyone for tuning in to this live stream. Yep. Love having you guys here. Love yeah. happening on Mondays. So Yeah. Uh, okay, last oh, question. Oh. Last question. I always have to do this. Adrian <laughs> Ball says, what are your views on staking returns ending with uh, with staking? Getting your staking returns in stable coins? Yeah. Usually that happens on centralized exchanges, right? Yeah. And so I think I think like you you know right now the the API AP, APRs are about uh, 8.5% right now and during a bear market you're probably going to see like 5 to 5.5% 5 .5 on your stables um, but then then again who knows what's going to happen with Aave your the lending platforms you might be able to farm as well with mm -hmm. the stables as well so I'll keep you guys posted on that and see like what happens during the during the bear market but be be ready for the bear when it comes. You know, when we see a blow off top, we are going to get a that that's when the bear bear market starts. And just be ready. Have some cash on hand. Don't don't think it's gonna go to the moon and keep going to a million dollars. It's probably not gonna do that this this uh, bull market. But just in case it does, you don't wanna sell all of your Bitcoin or Ethereum. Those are the two coins that I consider I I don't consider Ethereum a uh, altcoin. I just don't. So it's it has one of the, shifted categories. It has shifted categories. Breaking news. Absolutely. Okay. Anyways, that's all we have. You guys, uh, if you guys are new to this channel, thank you so much for checking us out. Please hit the subscribe button because tomorrow we have a really good video coming out. I'm pretty stoked about it. I had a lot of fun filming it with Toby, of course. Sweet. So check it out. Hit the like button and we'll see you again soon. Bye, guys. Oh, Status of <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye now. Wait. What? I don't see the stop button. Oh, no. We're on forever now, guys. <laughs> what happened? It, the live button went away. One second. This is huh. okay. Here we go. Are we still on? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, um, on another note, I think oh, that a lot of people from <laughs> Turkey are going to switch over to Bitcoin. <laughs> Anyways, keep that in mind. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>